Well, hello there, children. Welcome back to Miss Bellina's story time. I'm so happy you're joining me today. I have an amazing story. I think you guys are going to love this. I know I say this all the time, but all of these books are really awesome. So I know you're going to enjoy this one too. It's called A Sick Day for Amos McGee. And it's written by Philip and Aaron Stead. Are you ready? Let's get started. Amos McGee was an early riser. Every morning, when the alarm clock clanged, he swung his legs out of bed and swapped his pajamas for a fresh pressed uniform. He would wind his watch and set a pot of water to boil, saying to the sugar bowl, a spoonful for my oatmeal, please, and two for my teacup. Belly full and ready for the work day, He'd amble out the door. Every day, Amos waited for the number five bus. Next stop, City Zoo, the bus driver would call. 6 a.m., right on time. Amos replied. Amos had a lot to do at the zoo, but he always made time to visit his good friends. He would play chess with the elephant, who thought and thought before making a move and he'd run races with the tortoise, who never, ever lost. He'd sit quietly with the penguin, who was very, very shy, and he'd lend a handkerchief to the rhinoceros, who always had a runny nose. And at sunset, he'd read stories to the owl, who was afraid of the dark. One day, Amos awoke with the sniffles and the sneezes and the chills. He swung his achy legs out of bed and then curled them back again and said, Oh, I don't think I'm going to work today. Amos was not feeling well. Meanwhile, at the zoo, the animals waited for their friend. The elephant arranged his pawns and polished his castles. The tortoise stretched his legs and limbered up. The penguin sat patiently all by himself. The rhinoceros worried that his allergies were worsening. And the owl perched atop a tall stack of storybooks, scratching his head with concern. Where is Amos? The animals wondered. Later that day, hmm, it 
looks as though the animals are leaving the zoo. Hmm. And now they're standing in a line next to the bus sign. Hmm. What does that bus sign mean? Does anyone know? Oh, that that's the bus stop? And the animals are standing in a line near the bus stop. So what might that mean? Hmm. Think for a moment. Oh. They're in line because they're going to take the bus. They're waiting for the bus. I think you're right. Good. Where do you suppose they're going to go? Oh, you think they might go see Amos? Let's see if you're right. Look here. Now they're all on the bus. Hmm, what clue in this picture makes you think that your prediction, which was that they were going to visit Amos, what clue in this picture makes you think that that might be correct? Oh, I think you're right. The number five, how is that a clue? That's right. That's the same number bus that Amos took to get to the zoo. Mm. So it only makes sense that he would ride the same numbered bus to go back home, right? That's what Amos would do. So they are taking the number five bus and let's see if we are right that they're going to visit Amos. <gasps> Wonderful. They all came to visit their friend because they were concerned. They wanted to make sure he was okay, right? And look, they brought him a gift, a red balloon from the zoo. How sweet. The elephant prepared a game of chess. Amos thought and thought before making a move. I'm too tired to run races today, said Amos to the tortoise. Let's play hide and seek instead. The tortoise hid inside his shell and Amos hid beneath his blanket. Amos yawned. Oh, I could use a nap. The penguin sat quietly, keeping Amos's feet warm. Ah, 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 choo! Amos awoke with a sneeze, and the rhinoceros was ready to give him a handkerchief. Oh, his friends are so neat. They're all taking care of him, just like he did for them. I'm beginning to feel much better, thank you, said Amos to his friends. He swung his legs out of bed. Perhaps 
We'll share a pot of tea, he said. Aw, isn't that sweet? Amos wound his alarm clock. It's getting late, he said. After all, we have a morning bus to catch. So Amos said good night to the elephant and good night to the tortoise and good night to the penguin and good night to the rhinoceros and good night to the owl who, knowing that Amos was afraid of the dark, read a story aloud before turning out the light. <laughs> that is so sweet. The end. And there they are, all sound asleep. <laughs> What good friends, right? Oh my goodness. I'm telling you, this is one of my absolute favorite books. I love this book so much because it shows such compassion for others. Amos was very caring towards all of his animal friends. He did things to help them where they may have had a little trouble. For example, um, the rhinoceros always had a runny nose, so he always had a handkerchief to give him. And the owl was afraid of the dark, and so he always went and read a story to him to help him so he wouldn't feel afraid. And the penguin was very shy and quiet and he would just go and sit with him and you know just be there for him and he did that with all of his friends so i think that it was just amazing that the all of the animals came to visit him when he was sick and all the things that amos would do with them at the zoo they in turn did for him while he was at home sick. And if you notice in the end, he felt much better. <laughs> well, guys, this is a great lesson, don't you think? Because this teaches us to care for others. And in turn, people will care for you too. Don't forget that. Maybe mom's not feeling good today and you can do things to help her, right? To help her feel better. Maybe she can, you can have her sit and put her feet up and just rest a little bit and you can play quietly so that she can just rest herself and start to feel better, right? Uh, maybe uh, your little brother or sister isn't feeling well and maybe you and mom or dad can help to make them some uh, nice uh, soup that'll help them to feel better, right? So you can do all kinds of special things and maybe you have a little brother or sister who's afraid of the dark and maybe you can help by reading a story and helping them to feel better. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me today in reading this wonderful story, A Sick Day for Amos McGee. I hope you enjoyed it. I look forward to reading to you again next time. Bye-bye.